Hello and welcome to Inside IT from the technology experts at Intel's own IT department. In this podcast, we look at Intel's approach to deploying Windows 8 on Intel architecture-based tablets. Intel IT has found that the combination of a Windows 8 operating system running on tablets based on Intel architecture yields some really significant benefits. These devices are a great resource for employees and offer manageability and security benefits for IT. So says Intel's Tiffany Pani. My name's Tiffany Pani. I'm the program manager for the Windows 8 and 8.1 deployment. Pani says there is a significant number of these tablets in use at Intel. We have about 1,500 IA-based tablets with Windows 8 or 8.1 in our BYO program to date. Pani says the devices enable flexibility and improve productivity of employees. You could have an employee who chooses to take their tablet to meetings, to take notes. Maybe they take it with them to a conference to take notes where they don't want to have of, you know, their full laptop with them. There could be other situations where they're working from home and it's easier for them to read a report on the tablet than it would be on their laptop. Or maybe they're traveling somewhere and a tablet takes up a little bit less space in that cramped quarters of the airplane. And Pani says having Windows 8 on all your devices is a great advantage. Having the exact same software on your laptop as on your tablet means that you're not spending time reformatting documents that may get corrupted between different kinds of OSs or different types of machines. The combination of Windows 8 and Intel architecture-based tablets offers advantages to IT as well. It also enables IT to centrally manage the devices. We've still got the security layers and the manageability, so we're able to make sure the devices and intellectual property are safe while providing this additional service and increasing productivity and job satisfaction for our employees. Pani says they did pilot studies and examined use cases at the outset of the Windows 8 deployment. From that, Intel IT developed a multi-tiered approach to support for IA-based tablets. They offer four levels of service to accommodate the different needs of employees. The first is the Trusted Application Portal or TAP level. With this model, you have a tablet, either you've bought it yourself, so it's a BYO model, or Intel has provided it for you. And you only need to use it for certain applications. You don't need to be on the corporate network. You really just need to maybe check your email, maybe you access our conference room finder tool, or get on the news portal and read some internal news stories things like that. The second level is what Intel IT calls basic service. With this one, you are installing a few different components on the device. You're going to use a mobile device management tool to you know, help keep the device secure. And you're also going to be able to get email, calendar, and contacts through this service and a couple of other applications similar to what you could get from the portal. Pawnee says the next level really leverages the possibilities offered by Windows 8 and an IA tablet, Intel IT's premium service. So we leave the OS intact, so you have Windows 8 or 8.1 Pro installed on the device, and then you install some other components, security software, manageability software, and some other things that allows you to get on the network and keep your data safe, you do have encryption on the device to protect the intellectual property as well. And with this service, you have full network access. So everything that you can get to and everything that you can do on your corporate provided laptop, you're able to do on the tablet as well. And Pani says there is a fourth level of service, a sort of special level called the IT build service. Mostly this is used internally by departments who want to purchase tablets like for their entire group. So they would work with IT to get all those tablets purchased and then have the IT build installed on the tablets. So it's getting the exact same build that a laptop would get including um, the Windows Enterprise version instead of the Pro version. Again, this one would have full network access as well. Pani says it was important for the success of the project to ask the right questions about HR and legal concerns. What are the responsibilities of the employee and what are the responsibilities of Intel in providing these services for employee-owned devices? Communication was also a key to success of the project. When we started our proof of concept, that was December 2012, we needed to get participants, and then we needed to communicate with them during that proof of concept and pilot phase 
We needed to survey them to find out what their experience was like. We needed to find out if they were having any issues with the service or with the device and then take all of that input back to our engineering teams to make any changes to the service or enhancements. Pani says that communication is a two-way street and IT needed to make sure employees were proficient with Windows 8 in the enterprise environment. We wanted to provide some of that level of detail, but we really wanted to pinpoint what were the specific things that you need to do within Intel that you need specific instructions for with Windows 8. We found early on in the process, well, hey, I don't know how to map a printer on Windows 8. So we provide specific instructions on how to get your Intel printer working on Windows 8. Intel ran a cloud-based storage pilot program simultaneously with the development of its IA-based tablet program. Pani says she's a case study of how valuable that combination is. I don't know how I would have lived without the cloud-based storage. Because I have a Windows 8 and an 8.1 laptop, and then I have a Windows 8 tablet. And I was able to use our cloud-based storage, and I could interchange those devices and take them to any meeting or work on them at any day of the week and have access to all of the same data. It was immediately synchronized. So I could interchange my machines, you know, five times an hour and still have the exact same mail that was showing up on each one of them. And copied into the correct folder, and it was just critical. It's going to improve employee productivity and flexibility to such an extent. It's really invaluable. And Pani says looking at the future of Windows 8 on tablets at Intel, she only sees growth. Up until this point, mostly our employees have preferred to have laptops as their primary devices. But over the last year, we've seen that there are specific use cases where laptops don't make sense and tablets do. So we need to make sure that we're fulfilling that need. And then there's also just choice. Some employees just would prefer to have a tablet over a laptop, and we need to have that IT offering. That means constant vigilance as tablets evolve. We're always looking at the newest OS, newest browsers, and we're constantly evolving that as well testing those on different devices and ensuring that our build is up to date with those latest devices that are coming in. That does it for this edition of Inside IT. If you want to know more about Intel's approach to deploying Windows 8 on Intel architecture-based tablets or about anything IT related, go to www.intel.com IT. While you're there, you can sign up for the Intel IT Center for regular updates on IT topics, third-party research, IT-focused events, and more. For Inside IT, I'm Paul Landcore.